Thomas Aquinas was a Roman Catholic theologian who lived in the 13th century and is to this day considered by the Church to be pretty much an example of the ideal Catholic. Aquinas spent much of his life agonizing over the question of the existence of God and being a Catholic monk, it's unsurprising which answer he leaned towards. Being a great fan of Aristotle, Aquinas took a lot of Aristotle's philosophies and applied them to his own work. He thought Aristotle was a pretty awesome guy. Aquinas believed that there were two ways to arrive at the truth. Some things could be understood through reason and logic, other things through faith, and that's perfectly possible to prove the existence of God a priori, or through reason alone. He formulated five proofs known as the Kinke Vie, I think that's how it's pronounced, and some more convincing others, and some of which are still hotly debated by theologians and atheists alike. The first proof is the first mover argument. We can observe that anything that moves must be set in motion by something else that was moving to begin with, and that thing in turn was set in motion by something else which was set in motion by something else. Aquinas argued that there must have been a first mover, that which was not itself moved, otherwise nothing would ever have begun moving to begin with. The second proof is the first cause, which states that anything that is created must be created by something else because nothing can create itself. But if nothing ever created itself, then nothing would ever have been created in the first place and the universe would fail to exist. Therefore, there must have been a creator, itself not created, which caused the existence of everything else. Proof 3 is the argument of contingency, which states that things that we observe today are not necessary to exist, but if nothing was necessary, then nothing would exist. Therefore, something must be necessary and that would be God. Proof 4 argues that for us to judge anything to be either good or bad, we must compare it against something that is is better, although for this to be anything but entirely arbitrary, there must exist something that is the best possible thing. Finally, proof 5 is that we can observe that everything in the universe, alive or otherwise, works towards some kind of goal, but for this to be true, there must be some kind of supreme intelligence directing the whole show. Aquinas' philosophical writings are one of the best ever attempts at grounding the Judeo-Christian faith in logical reasoning, and the Catholic Church thought this was pretty great. Aquinas believed that theology was a science, and attempted to formulate arguments supporting the Church's doctrine on the grounds of rational thinking. He was a great supporter of the technique of via negativa, which seeks to understand God by eliminating those attributes that do not apply, essentially describing God by figuring out what God is not. For example, God has no physical form or constituent parts, therefore God must exist in infinite simplicity, and God is not limited by anything, therefore God must be really, really strong. The Catholic Church loved Thomas Aquinas so much that they made him a saint, and in Christian tradition it's often regarded that the only person who knew Christianity better was Jesus. We can assume that Jesus' response to this is something like, oh yeah, well I have more hair.